Hi, I'm Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a leak down tester to test your lawnmower's engine. The leak down tester is a very versatile tool. It connects to the engine's cylinder through the spark plug hole. I then connect compressed air to it from an air compressor. Once the gauge is set, it'll allow me to test the seal between the piston rings and the cylinder, both the intake and the exhaust valves, and the head gasket. There's a few things we need to do to set up the mower for the leak down tester, and we'll get started by doing that. First, I'll need to access the engine's flywheel. On this mower, that means removing the starter and the shroud and fuel tank. Next, I'll remove the spark plug. Now I need to rotate over the engine until the piston is at top dead center. I'll show you how to find that. I'll take the hose from the leak down tester and screw one end into the cylinder. I'll plug the other end of the tube with my thumb and I'm gonna rotate the flywheel until I feel pressure building on my thumb. When the pressure builds, that tells us we're on the compression stroke. The top of the compression stroke is top dead center. So now I'll remove the tube. And I'm going to insert a quarter inch extension from my socket set into the spark plug hole and rest it on top of the piston. I'll rotate the flywheel slowly back and forth. As I do, the extension will go in and out as the piston pushes on it. I want to rotate until I find the point where the extension comes out no more, and that will be where the piston is at top dead center. Right about there. Now I need to lock the flywheel in place so it won't rotate when I put the compressed air into the cylinder. To do that, I'm going to use a small screwdriver. I'm going to insert the screwdriver between one of the three posts that secure the starter and the fins on the flywheel. I want to pick one of these locations that moves the flywheel as little as possible when I insert the screwdriver. If it moves more than about a quarter of an inch either way, you'll lose top dead center and you won't get an accurate test. That will work, and now I can connect the tester. First, I'll connect the compressed air from my air compressor to the tester. I have the compressor pressure set at about 100 PSI. There'll be a spec you can't exceed. In the case of my tester, it's 300 PSI. You'll want to check that for your particular tester. Now I'll take the tube that came with the tester and screw it back into the spark plug hole. I'll connect the other end to the opposite end of the tester. Now I need to calibrate the tester. To do that, I use the regulator that's built onto it. I'll turn the regulator knob until the needle is in the set location on the gauge. With everything connected, now I'll open the valve, which will allow compressed air into the cylinder, and we'll get our reading. As you can see, we have very little leakage from this mower, and that's exactly what I'd expect, as it's pretty much brand new. Normally, 10% or less is considered acceptable leakage. As you can see on the gauge, it'll even go as high as 40% before we get into moderate leakage. Anything above about 70% is high leakage, and at that point, the mower probably won't even turn over. So what can this test tell us? If the gauge were reading that we had moderate or high leakage, we can determine which component is the problem by where the air is leaking from. I'm going to put a wrench back on the flywheel and remove my screwdriver that's locking the flywheel in place. This will allow me to simulate some of the potential leaks you might see on your mower. Here I've let the flywheel move enough that the exhaust valve is opened. I can hear and actually feel air leaking out of the muffler. If you saw this condition, 
when the piston was at top dead center, that would indicate that your exhaust valve is not sealing. You likely have a carbon buildup or a cracked valve. The same thing would apply to the intake valve. If I have air leaking through the carburetor and out the intake, that would indicate that the intake valve is open, again from carbon or debris buildup, or the valve is broken. Another test I can do would be to spray some soapy water around the head gasket or the valve gasket. If bubbles appeared, that would indicate that I had a leak in either of those two gaskets. When a head gasket does fail, it's usually in the thin portion of the gasket between the cylinder and the valve chamber. When this occurs, you would get air leaking, usually from the exhaust side, but possibly from the intake side. So again, that could be a valve, or it could be the head gasket. If the air were leaking past the piston rings and into the lower part of the cylinder and the crankcase, you would get air leaking from the oil fill tube. If you suspect this is the case, you're gonna to wanna to turn off the air drain the oil from the mower before you remove the cap. Otherwise, you're gonna get oil spraying out like a geyser. Those are some of the common tests you can perform with your leak down tester. Mm -hmm.